Hello everyone, this is Super Weedoo, and welcome back to Metroid Other M. Now, last time we were here, and there was a battle, and then we were told what- What are you doing? You need to get to the system management room. I know that! Anyways, when I went back to the save room, there was a thing that popped open, and- Wait a minute. Apparently, Sonic can walk over holes. Amazing! So you drop down this hole and bomb this great away, and you can get a missile! Isn't that just wonderful? Alright. So, now we're gonna go and do what Adam told us to do. Because, well, the game won't let us do anything else. So, the first thing we need to do is head back to where there was that, um... grating or whatever from the ceiling. This one's falling down. Here it is. Hey there, little enemies. Shriek bats and stuff. Anyways. And inside we get our first energy tank! Yay! And then we activate this console. And what does it do? Well, it ag aggravates these two hives of enemies. Hmm, what are you doing all these sectors? You're out of bounds, my friends. Hey, get off of me! Anyways, you really don't have to pay much attention to the little bugs. And what you really need to do is spend most of your time shooting at the hives. Dang, the lock-on system in this game is kind of silly. Lock you onto whatever it wants to, really. I mean... Uh, uh, the, the play style of this game feels like it's babying you way too much. The way it locks on, the way it auto-targets, the way it shows you where to go with the map. I know Prime had a hint system in it too, but it didn't do it this much, did it? Anyways, next thing we're going to need to do is go over here. Is this and that annoying sound when you run a missile. Anyway, there's this vent, you can blow it up. And where does this take us? We're down a really long tunnel. And then we're back here, in the docking bay. And that's how you get this missile, in case you were wondering how you could get that. Also, don't really like how it zooms so far out when you gotta activate this console. It can be pretty annoying. But yeah, it's not too big a deal. And also, since we're here so early, the boxes haven't been moved yet. Meaning that we can use them to climb up here. Making this missile quite easy to get. And now we... Go back to where Adam is, I guess. Oh yeah, <clears throat> apparently a lot of people think that for a game to have a good story, there needs to be like cut, big long cutscenes, talking and junk. But I disagree. Just look at the Prime games. There's a lot of really good stuff there, and, and most of it doesn't involve long cutscenes or talking. Just, no, a lot of nice subtle things. The thing and that was made by Retro. Which is Oh shoot, they knocked me back down. Anyway, that was made by Retro, um, which apparently is based here in the United States. Hmm. And when um asked of, you know, when ta talked about um the game, you know, before it was released the guy, when the guys was like, he didn't have much experience with 3D or something like that. Mm, so I guess that can be kind of attributed to this. Mm. Anyways. Ah, dang enemy. I'm gonna ignore you anyways, because you are just a pitiful enemy. What's this? 
I, it's shenanigan time! The bridge has been removed or whatever. Come here though. You can get a missile! Yay! This literally is a missile. Each um missile expansion is only one. But then again, you can recover your missiles, so I guess that's why they did that. This is overblasted one. And there we go. All those nasty hoppers have been dealt with. Well, that was intelligent. The knockback from my charge beam threw me back in the hall. Good thing I can wall jump. Hmm, I can take the elevator. Oh, you kind of actually have to. Wait, I wasn't in it? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And this, um, straightens those platforms that were at an angle. And there we go, missile. So now, we just, um, go back to this room. Oh, look at that, it's lost again, so we have to save again. Oh, nice of them. I think maybe they did that, did that in per on, per on purpose to make it a little harder on less players. I don't know. I don't see any other reason why they would force Samus, it to save. Go through the hatch on your right and head towards Sector 1. Lyle went ahead to secure a route to a facility of interest. I'll leave you to survey Sector 1. Huh. I get to survey Sector 1?! Oh boy! Sector 1 is fun, right? Right? I'm trying to remember what Sector 1 is. It's SRX. Yeah, that's it. The SR388 system. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's another game. This is just the jungle one. Now if you go up here, by wall jumping, you can get box, another missile. Hmm. That's nifty. Hey look, another elevator. Hey look, another missile. <laughs> oh yeah, they put them all over the place. Ugh. I don't like the sound that these puffers make. It's disgusting. Especially since it reminds me of the sound that my cat used to make before he threw up. Ugh. Disgusting. Stupid puffers. Anyways, if you climb all the way to the top, you get this. But no, it's not an energy tank. It's an energy part. Yes. They thought that this game needed, I don't know, a reference to Zelda? Collect four, you get a whole one. Um, why? That doesn't make much sense to me. It's just, I guess, uh, uh, them trying to put in more items without having to give you a lot. That may also be the case for the missiles only giving you one each. Hmm. This 
Cannon right here. So now that we're in this area, let's explore a little bit before ending the episode. So once again, we're going to be shown a bit of the map. And it's going to say you have to go here. And I wish I could turn that off. That is so lame. Yeah, why can't they, the map just reveal itself as you enter the room like it did in time? I don't see why it shouldn't. And those enemies, you, you really don't need to bother with them at all. You can ignore most of the stuff in this sector. What's this? Locked door? Uh oh. Something's after us. What could it be? Could it possibly be a simple enemy? See? Simple. All you have to do is hit it with one missile, and then just run up to it, and you automatically defeat it. Wow. That was just great. And now, we're in another room, with a giant tree in the middle. Hmm. Nice little walkways around it. Now, these clan enemies here, are kind of dumb. You can't shoot them, unless they move first. I don't really understand that. I mean, even after encountering the first one, it still works like that for the second one, and third one, and so on, that you see. It's like some of us never learn. Those are enemies. You can shoot them. You should shoot them. Well, that's all for this time. Considering as I don't think I can make it to the next part, which is, show me on the map. Way over there. So, see you next time, everybody. Awesome.